What's up guys, I'm the Eastside Fish Guy and today we're going to be putting up a 2.5 gallon spec. So the spec is going to be for a fish that I just ordered from Live Aquaria. Um, he's going to be perfectly fine for his entire lifespan in this 2.5 gallon aquarium. Um, it's going to be a really easy aquarium. Um, live rock is going to be the um, biological filtration. We're going to put carbon and sponge for mechanical filtration and that's all we're going to need. So let's put this tank together. So here's the water that I just mixed for the aquarium. I have my salinity at 1.020. That's perfect for new arrivals because you always want your salinity relatively low once you get new fish. It's a lot easier on the fish and the uh, salt that I use are reef crystals um, from Instant Ocean. The reason why I use reef crystals is it has extra calcium. The purple bag doesn't have as much calcium. And I've noticed that I get a lot more algae when I use the purple bag. So I always use an orange one. It's just a little bit more expensive, but sometimes you can price match from the stores you go to and it's almost equally the price of the purple bag. So why would you get the purple bag? Get the orange bag. It just makes so much more sense. The extra calcium will kill your algae for you because if your coral is growing, it's a, there's a good chance that your algae isn't growing because that means all your parameters are okay. And for my top off water, I've been using my tap water, but I don't recommend it. Always get an RODI, a reverse osmosis system, or use distilled water, one or the other. But I still put this marine conditioner just because it, you know, the stuff on the bottle basically. You don't really have to worry about that when it comes to reverse osmosis or distilled water, but this one um, has a fish coat to your fish, so. We have a bunch of dead rock and dead sand. Reason I call it dead is because it has not been used yet. But everything becomes alive once you put it in your aquarium, obviously. Within a week, it's gonna be covered in, within a day, but within a week is when it's gonna be really cultured. It'll be full of, you know, the beneficial bacteria that keeps your fish tank alive, basically. So we got a ton of live rock. Well, I see a ton, it's not that much, but for a two point, it's a lot. I'm probably gonna not need all of this. And then in itself, it's a nice little looking aquarium. I've used this light for corals before and it grows corals really well. Um, at least soft corals. Back here, we're probably just gonna put a sponge and a carbon, uh, a pouch of carbon. And that'll be about it. Some kind of like little porous biological type filtration but I'll find that out later and then there's just a little return pump right there All right, so that's what the tank looks like with water inside. So it's, it's all in there. Cool. So the water's in. Now I'm gonna start the pump. It's got a good um, speed going there. Should be good enough. So let's add a couple little um, accents to the aquarium now. some marine conditioner. 
to the aquarium just to help the water out a little bit. Put it right here. And the tank is done. So I do have a fish arriving tomorrow for this aquarium. Um, he should be fine in here, but do you really want to wait like a month at least before you start stocking your aquarium? Um, but yeah, so for now this is what the tank's going to look like. It's going to get a lot better. I have a lot of great plans for this aquarium. Horn Blenny has arrived and he looks healthy. So the Horn Blenny will go right in a 2.5 gallon aquarium and he will be the fish that starts the cycle. And if I see him starting to go south in there, I will pull him out and put him in the 20 gallon. So let's go acclimate this guy. So I decided not to put the Blenny into the system too early because he just wasn't doing good in there. And I think for the future, I'm only going to be putting fish in 30 days after the aquarium has been up that's the best thing to do you always want to wait 30 days before you add anything to your aquarium but it's cycle completely and then when it's ready you add one or two fish and then you're ready to go for now he's gonna stay in this little box and be just fine he's right there then when he's ready to go he'll go right over here So I'll keep you updated on the 2.5 gallon spec. Awesome, I'll see you on the next one.